What is the number one problem with studying an MBA degree in the US? It's the OPT. You do not get a three-year OPT. Instead, in most cases, you will end up with just a one-year OPT. And with the tuition for the MBA almost being double the amount of tuition for normal MS programs, that means you're paying almost $100,000 you can only work in the US for one year. That means you only get the chance to apply for an H-1B one time. And if that scenario, in, in that scenario, if you do not really secure the H-1B, you are done. Instead, when MS applicants go for it, when one of the STEM designated degree applicants go for it, that is science, technology, engineering, and math degree applicants go for a program in the US, they get three years of OPT. That means they get three chances at the H-1B. So even if they don't get the H-1B in the first code, they have two more chances. Whereas you as an MBA applicant will have only one chance and you're paying double the amount of tuition as compared to them. It does not look like a very good deal till this point. So at this point, what we did is we researched about the universities and a lot of them have started offering STEM designated MBAs. Now, these MBAs will still be MBA programs, but you will have a little bit of technological tinge to it. But again, that's not gonna be too much. So there's going to be a balance. You'll still have an MBA degree from some of the top universities in the US. And on top of that, you have three years of OPT. So you get three chances to basically apply for the H-1B and you get three years to stay in the US even without the H-1B. That means you're going to get the return on your investment either way. So before we actually go ahead and dive in, I'm going to point you to this website, wangrad.com. You go on over here and you go on to the articles right on this page and you will see that we have this article called universities offering stem mba in the usa this was actually launched today itself so either way otherwise if you cannot find it you're looking at it later you can just type in stem over here and you will find the article and over here i will take you to this page where we're talking about stem mba options stem just means science technology engineering and math this means that you will be having three years worth of opt after pursuing an mba degree from one of these schools okay so you can check these out the number one school on this list now again these are not based on rankings we have a lot of these over here and then some more there's almost about 50 schools over here and we're going to continue to add more of these in the list if you're signed up you will get the notifications but either way you can see the first one over here university of southern california and this is basically a data data backed decision making in its mba program vision it creates an entrepreneurial mindset and again when it's in a location like los angeles you obviously have a lot to gain in california you will be close to some of the top tech firms over there and of course you know even though it's not really in the bay area it's definitely about four or five hours away from there so you will easily be able to commute to and fro just in case you need to right there's other universities uh, university of wisconsin madison school of business then there's the duke university harvard business school now some universities will not offer a direct stem degree but they will offer an mba which is a joint degree program but again this will be stem at the end of the day so it's definitely worth checking out this option as well okay there's going to be other ones northwestern university university of michigan georgetown university university of notre dame there's Yale School of Management and Dartmouth. So let's say that you think that all of these are very, very ambitious for you. No problem. We have listed out a lot of other universities that you can go ahead and check out over here. Starting from Babson College. This is the number one college for entrepreneurship, by the way, if you did not know. Then there's the University of North Texas, University of Georgia, University of Massachusetts, even MIT. So there's a there's a lot of these programs that you can go ahead and you can check. Now, let's say that, hey, look, you guys are think, hey, this is a list of universities, but what is the verification? How do you verify if these are actually STEM designated or not? So if you go ahead for verifying one of these, you can just click on the learn more link over here. Okay, you can open this up and you will be able to go ahead, you, you'll be able to check, look for STEM over here and you'll be able to check this out, right? So you can verify it on the official website of the university. Let's say that you wanna verify it for one of these in the list here. What you can do is you can just click on this view program button and you can just go on to the official website of the university and again you can just search for stem over here and you will be able to verify it right if you want to know about the admission statistics of these universities let's say what kind of students get in what are their admission statistics then you can just click on the see admission statistics button you'll be taken this to this page where you can actually go ahead and check out the admission statistics the deadlines the average dmat gre scores whatever you are taking toefl ielts and everything is covered over here right so all of this available to you for free go on to this page i'll leave the link in the description let me know how you find find it because 
<laughs> this blog actually took us a lot of time to create. It took us a lot of research, it took a lot of research and you know, making sure that everything is correct. So we verified with the learn more links and everything. So I hope you like that. If you would like to appreciate it and you know, you would like regular updates when we update this list, you can just sign up over here and you will get the updates. Regardless, if you like this video, like the content that we're bringing and researching, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want to reach out to me personally, you can do so over my Instagram and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye. Take care.